Hello everyone, welcome to Education Tath. This is Anil. We are working on Flowable series and today we are going to talk about Database Schema. So I'm not going to create a separate document for this because Flowable has already captured all these details in a like very explanation manner. So let me just show you this document that uh, that is provided as part of flowable enterprise documentation and this is available at this particular url what i'm going to do i'm going to put it in my description so that you can also reference this in here if you will see the database table names associated with the flowable open source code please start with act Database tables specific to flowable work or engage start with flw underscore prefix. I'll be also showing you some of these tables uh, in S2 database instance, but just want to cover like how the nomenclature and everything works in here. Secondary identifier you will notice after the first underscore that G stands for general data, which is used for various cases. RU stands for runtime tables where you will have the deployment related details. HI stands for history. These are the table that contains historical data when data is removed from the runtime table. The history table still contains all the information for these finished instances. So basically when you are having any in-flight instance, you will see that the data is present on RU underscore tables as well as HI underscore tables. But as soon as the instance ends up, this will only be available in history tables. RE stands for repository for any static information about model and definition or deployment is part of the RE1. Common suffixes you will notice that underscore deployment this this is to indicate successful deployment whereas deployment resources stores the model related to deployment when uh, like a specific definition is needed and then underscore dev one deployment can have multiple definitions so you can read through it i'm not going into read this for uh, like uh, because this makes sense it is self-explanatory and you can refer to this and get uh, to know more about how all the tables are working though as i mentioned earlier as well product database table should not be touched for any use case there are specific apis that you should use and um, use that rather than uh, directly accessing to database table i'll be covering uh, one of the sessions for rest api so you can focus more on that for for anything related to any feature or functionality that you want to leverage from flowable engine but product database table you should be touching if and only if there are no other ways possible so this this is not recommended approach for uh, any changes so this is quite extensive document and you should be able to know uh, something specific tables on the flowable or the cmmn or the bpmn so just feel free feel free to explore that if you have any questions around it you can comment in here uh, i will try to response uh, based on your queries so I'll, I'll be able to like give you a response over there this you will find in the description of this video so to be able to see all these tables in action, we are going to enhance this code which we created for a Spring Boot integration. We are going to copy some of the properties in here. Then we are going to provide some DB details to be able to open this S2 console calling this db new because flowable db is something i have already initiated for 6.6.0 so either i should go and uh, clean that flowable db instance from s2 or i can use this s2, inst uh, s2 instance which i'm calling as flowable db new now if we restart our application here we should be able to see S2 console. Let's run now. So we can open a new tab 
http localhost 8080 h2 dash console console yeah this one so if i just log in with this h2 console this will open up a ui like this here we need to provide some of the properties that i configured here like i provided username as flowable password as flowable and this jdbc url as this so i'm going to just provide all these information in it here username flowable password flowable and then this is the username and password i provided let me just do the test connection this is successful we need to connect now for that i need to provide the flowable password again as after test after test connection this just uh, disappeared so in here if we will look at it this is very similar to the documentation that we covered we have some of the table starting with act underscore something and then we have some of the tables starting from FLW. Then we have some of the table with the nomenclature as GE for general, for HI history, RU as runtime, RE as registry. If we need to look at how many task instance we have, we can run this query. And as you know, the postman was returning in the last session that we talked about, it was returning three rows. So very similar, this is in here as well. We have three tasks created, which is in history table. And if we look at the runtime table of the task, let's clear this one. So we can see that three tasks are coming even there. If we complete all these tasks, so these will remove from RU table and these will be available in history table only. Similarly, we have lots of other information. If we uh, look at this from the backend perspective, for any for any deployment related, if, since we have deployed one BPMN process, so ideally we should have some detail in the BPMN process. Let's have a look on the table. As you can see that we have done the Spring Boot deployment. So that is where you can see that the one deployment was available from 25th of March. And then the second deployment that we did is from 26th of March. So with the table also, and uh, from table also, we can have all the detailed information available. You can use this for query purpose. If somehow like you want this to be quick and uh, very familiar. And definitely you should have some knowledge of the product database tables as well but doing any changes or using it as a regular will will be very risky thing so uh, please try to avoid that but this is how we want to complete our session on database schema today let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below hope you are liking overall series that we created on flowable thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to our channel please go and subscribe that